Hello, ARC Survivor Evolved players. Today I'm going to go through the first opening screen and very quickly give you some hints on what's in them. The first screen, Join ARC, is how you play online with your friends and other players. Clicking it will bring you up to a screen that will show you all the different servers that are out there that you can play on. Um, right now on the upper middle section there's a pull down menu where I've selected Ragnarok. That's one of many maps so if I click on that with an X that will show you all the different maps that you can play on if you've paid the money to play on them. So you have to pay for almost all of these. The island, I think, is a free one. Ragnarok is not. Um, PvE, there's PvE or PvP. Uh, PvE is just player against the elements. PvP is player versus player. So PvP, your people, other players can kill you and steal your stuff. PvE, they can't. Uh, that's the way you sort your listing. Uh, down here is the server types. I play on unofficial PC sessions mainly because they're almost all boosted servers and because they're boosted it, you get into playing the game much faster. Uh, down at the bottom is the official servers. If you want to start there you can and that'll give you an idea how slow things take, uh, how long it takes to accrue things and to level up. Um, those are really the only two th that I ever use. As you get along, you'll learn a few more. When you select a server that you want to join, you highlight it, click on it by X with an X, and come down here and click Join, and that will put you into that server. Host Local, if you look at that, this is the way you can play by yourself solo and you can only play the games that you bought so you can play the island I bought Genesis I can play it I bought Ragnarok I can play it now on this when you play here you're all by yourself nobody's with you so this is a good place to play and learn how to play Ark options um, this is where you can set various different options so it you can come in here and look at this and experiment and get an idea on what things that you might want to play with. Uh, the only things that I've really touched are music volume, I've turned it way down. Gamma, I've got it up kind of high because I'm playing on a server right now that doesn't have tech. But those are the only two that I really make a lot of sense. Oh yeah, camera shake, I've got that one way down because when the dinos walk around you, with camera shake up high, uh, everything moves and it's hard to keep things in place. One other thing that um, I changed, so when you first come in here, you'll see that default survivor items is checked. I uncheck that because every time you get killed, you get a bunch of garbage into your inventory and then you have to clear it out every time. So by checking this, you don't have to mess around with that anymore. Once you've made your changes, you click on save and exit. And that saves all the changes you made. The survival guide is your help. So it shows you, you it gives you explanations for your heads up display, the radial wheel, how, you, how to use your inventory experience, everything. So this is a good way to learn ARC if you want to, or just watch a video. And in the video, they will explain how to uh, use all of these features. Credits, nothing more than um, who the creators were. Primitive Plus, that's a different way of playing ARC, which is very restrictive, and it's kind of like you get the same tools that primitive players would have gotten, whereas the new, um, the, the normal ARC, you can use steel items and crossbows and things like that that probably weren't available back in the dinosaur days. So if you want to jump in and play ARC, click on the join ARC button, 
select the server that you want to play on uh, and have fun. We'll see you next time.